Hello, I'm going to talk you through some of the history of psychological thriller. When films first started being made, there just wasn't the effects or the technology to make convincing psychological thrillers. One of the first notable thrillers was silent film The Lodger by Alfred Hitchcock. This was in black and white. Other films emerged in the 30s and 40s, but limits in budget and technology meant that they could never become scary enough to reach above the age certificate of 12 years old. The Sinister Urge made its debut in 1961 with no certificate rating. It had titles like A Psycho Killer's Urge to Kill, which shows this genre's development in gore and violence. <laughs> A nasty word for a dirty business. 1972 saw the release of Sleuth, a colour film which followed the conventions of a psychological thriller. Think of the perfect crime. The house is empty. Have you ever actually committed a crime before? Then, go one step further. This, as they say, is where the plot it's a real game and a real murder. Brimstone and Treacle in 1982 had a certificate of 18. This shows the development of violent effects and thriller techniques as this was one of the first psychological thrillers to be scary enough to earn this certif certificate. My favourite of the old psychological thrillers is easily The Silence of the Lambs, released in 1991. This film incorporates all of the conventions of a psychological thriller, whilst developing from older films by using impressive props, for example fake body parts being eaten. You spook easily, Starling? Not yet, sir. He's past the others. The last cell. I'll be watching. You'll do fine. A killer is on the loose. Keeps them alive for three days. Then he shoots them, skins them, and dumps them. A rookie FBI agent is on his trail. He's got real physical strength, cautious, precise, and he's never impulsive. He'll never stop. But in order to track him down, she'll have to match wits. I'll help you catch him, Clary. Believe me, you don't want Hannibal Lecter inside your head. With the darkest of all minds. Just do your job and never forget what he is. Oh, he's a monster. Pure psychopath. So rare to capture one alive. So close to the way you're gonna catch him, do you realize that? Oh, Clarice, your problem is you need to get more fun out of life. You told me you don't spook easily. You call this easy, sir? Lecter's missing hand arm. Man's a raving maniac. Who knows what he'll do? Thank you, Clary. Thank you. So 
So overall, what has changed in psychological thrillers? The biggest changes in this genre are the ability to create fear through editing techniques which can only develop as technology develops. This in turn affects the certificate rating of these films because as CGI editing and camera quality improves, psychological thrillers have the ability to become more and more disturbing.